I was recently invited by PMO Flashmob and Hot PMO to appear on their online meetup slash web conference slash chat show PMO Work From Home to talk about running a lessons learned retrospective remotely. Here's what happened. We've got Ken Bull, who's going to be giving us a little talk about his first online retrospective stroke lessons learned thing. So I'd like to introduce Ken. I've recently come to the end of the final project on a program. I wanted to run a retrospective lessons learned session. I had one all set up with flip charts and pens and post-it notes and sticky dots. But about a week before that session was due to happen, the country went into lockdown and I thought to myself, try and run it virtually. Well, let's start with Teams. Um, so if you're running a Teams meeting, you can use this whiteboard function you can pick a pen and you can scribble on the whiteboard you can change colors and you can do all that sort of stuff so that's the whiteboard within Microsoft Teams what's better is the Microsoft whiteboard app that's the same kind of functionality but bigger better so you have more pens you can have a note grid you might call that what went well and John turned up and see held Fort. you can change the colors you can vote so you can sort by color so if you're using color to indicate um, an emotional response for example or if you want to sort by reaction count so the number of votes on a sticky you can do that so there are a number of templates on here so let's pick retrospective and you can use your stickies for what went well main drawback is that it'll only work for people who are in the same office 365 client Nicole suggested to me one called Miro Miro is free to sign up to so if we go into a board this is what I ended up doing. So I used the journey mapping template to create this timeline and you have these milestones that you mark. So you have to invite people to, to the board and they have to create an account. And once you're up and running, people who are signed in can create these sticky notes and they can move them about the size of the type on the sticky note resizes to accept what's being typed into it. So we started with this timeline of the project. Then we moved on to what went well, what needs improvement and some next steps. And there's an extra item called a card. You can have a title and a description and you can assign it to somebody and you can attach a due date and a metadata tag. People were on this Myra board, mice flying about like nobody's business and post-it notes appearing from nowhere and all that kind of stuff. And I thought the whole thing was a complete car crash. So I emailed everybody afterwards apologizing and they told me they thought it worked really well and they wanted to have another go. So I set up a meeting for later on in the week. That one went much better. What I learned from it, even though I sent out the link several days beforehand saying, please set up your account, people didn't do that. But once they'd got the hang of how things worked, it worked really well. It was a good productive session and something that I would recommend to other people to use. Well, there's the nutshell version. If you want to see a longer video with more detail, then there's a link in the comments. And if you'd like to have a free 30 minute consultation on how to use this kind of technology, then that's available from me too. Link is also in the comments. Thanks.